Welcome to the November edition of Good News in Schools. I'm Vicki. And I'm Matt. Let's get to the good news by going to a parade at Arlington Heights Elementary School. Who doesn't love a good parade? This is the school's Red Ribbon Week Parade. Students hit the pavement and march through the community with an important message, don't do drugs. Looks like students came up with a lot of creative ways to get their point across. Good job, guys. City Councilman Gaffney served as the Grand Marshal, and students were also joined by many other special guests, including the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. I can't think of a better way to bring more awareness to something so important. Looking good, kids. I agree, Matt. Okay, now let's go to Chafee Trail Elementary School, where I can tell you students definitely know a thing or two about walking. Walking to school, that is. In observance of National Walk to School Day, PTA volunteers greeted students with items like bracelets, shoelaces, and bookmarks, and also fresh fruit and water made possible by a Winn-Dixie grant. But this event wasn't just about goodies, it was about education, making sure students know the safest way to walk to school each morning. School Board Chair Becky Couch was there to encourage students to develop good habits. It's a start, it's a way to educate people, and I'm looking forward to the continued participation in the event every year. We do a lot of education on how to walk to school safely, um, not to talk to strangers, keeping your eyes on the road, watching for cars. So they need to be conscious when they're walking to school or riding their bike. It also doesn't hurt that students were also given these nifty little booklets full of great tips and information sure to keep them safe. All right, Matt, what's next? What's next is a story sure to make you hungry. Mmm, well, you know I like food. Then you'll definitely love this. This new food truck comes to us thanks to the district's food service provider, Chartwell's Thompson Dining Services. It's called the Brain Food Truck, and if you're wondering who's behind this bold and colorful design, look no further than this young lady. Jill Cruikshank, a Douglas Anderson School of the Arts student, won a contest to design the graphics for this truck. She not only won $500, but she also has the privilege of seeing her art on four wheels. I'm thinking a lot of people will end up seeing her work, since the food truck will be traveling the district. Congrats. Not bad at all. Well, speaking of art, I can't help but think of this next story over at North Shore Elementary. That's where we can find the winner of a district-wide college door contest. It's Torin Lott, a first grade teacher and proud graduate of Edward Waters College. In honor of Jacksonville Goes to College Week, teachers from across the district were invited to decorate their doors with a college theme, then post their photos on Instagram to see who could get the most likes. As part of her prize, Lott's class got a special surprise visit by Edward Waters College President Nat Glover. He congratulated the class and spoke to them about the importance of pursuing a higher education. The young people were energetic, spirited, and engaged, and that, that was a, a big deal. And then to have one of my uh, alumna um, actually uh, here teaching, I mean, that's really what it's all about. It was definitely a pleasant surprise for me, myself, and my children. Getting that early start is great to get that awareness about how important it is to go to college. All right, guys, last story. We're at Kirby Smith Middle School, where members of the dance team are kicking it into high gear for a good cause. Change for a change! Thanks to a joint effort between the dance team, the PTSA, and the school's health and wellness teams, these young ladies took it to the curb each Friday in the month of October to raise money for cancer research. Decked out in pink shirts and pink pumpkins, students put their persuasion skills to the test by chanting, dancing, and bringing awareness to the importance of research. It's just great because you're earning money for people who have cancer and all, breast cancer. It just gives you the best feeling in the world. Other women who do have breast cancer, I like, since they have a, like, they're going through something, we want to help them so that way they don't have to go through it alone. They know that girls also have their backs. It feels really good because we're helping everyone that has breast cancer and helping find research on how to get rid of it. Great work, ladies, and what a great way to wrap up Good News in Schools. Before we go, we want to share some exciting news with you. Real School is going primetime. The district's award-winning TV show has found a new home on the CW17, and now we're airing at 6 p.m. on the first Sunday of each month. Be sure to check us out on Sunday, December 7th. And in the meantime, you can catch our latest episode at www.duvalschools.org by visiting the Communications Department page. It's been great, guys. We'll see you soon. Till next month, have a great day.